Uh, a couple of public service announcements, of course, for the time being, because we are on a ban, a channel ban. We do have three channels at the moment. The regular main channel, Underground Broadcast. You're watching right now the emergency Underground Broadcast, because we got banned from streaming on the other one. And then there's the illegal Underground Broadcast, which uh, I suggest you all look it up. The illegal Underground Broadcast is out there. And tomorrow uh, at 6 p.m. Uh, Central Time, I don't know what that is in the Netherlands, but we will be having a WrestleMania Night 1 watch party on the illegal broadcast channel. Uh, if you want the links, uh, I guess you can check on our main channel. I'll put it the same way I put the link to this channel. I'll put it on the top tomorrow. And on uh, our social medias, I'll release the link. But yes, uh, we'll be watching it. Oh, yeah. Uh, hopefully we don't get banned and if we get banned it's another it's a separate channel so I don't have to wait 30 uh, fucking uh, you know 80 days or whatever the fucking penalty is um, but yeah don't complain about how small the screen is and there's no sound and all this ass what you see is what you get we're gonna get away with it we almost got away with it last time we watched the entire AEW up to the last two matches when I started making it bigger so everybody could see and that's when we got caught so I'm keeping it the way it is, and that's the way it's staying. Uh, Gomer, I think Cody's going to lose. <laughs> I think Hunter's going to pull a Vince McMahon, and Cody's going to lose, bro. This is gonna con The story is going to continue for another fucking year. I got a feeling that Roman, sh the way I would book it is Cody loses, fucking then Roman, uh, the, the Rock challenges Roman, the Rock beats Roman. He's the new champion. And then Cody beats The Rock. Roman retires after that or whatever the fuck for his leukemia. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens uh, tomorrow's night one. So we won't know until Sunday. We'll watch night. We'll watch them both. Hopefully. If we don't get banned, we'll watch them both. But make sure you look for that shit. The Illegal Underground Broadcast. Check our social medias. And, uh, and, uh, and or our main page. Uh, uh, speaking of social medias. Uh... This is uh, my current social media. It's uh, uh, Twitter, because it is Twitter. It's not X until it's www.twitter.com. Fuck you, Elon Musk. Uh, it's at Cinnamon665, because apparently the Underground Broadcast was too long for a Twitter handle. Uh, fucking Instagram at the Underground Broadcast and uh, at the Underground Broadcast for TikTok. If you subscribe to at least one of those, you'll be up to date, because I post the same shit on all of them. Except for TikTok. Obviously, I don't push updates on TikTok. It's just short videos. But you see the same short videos on YouTube and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ready to rumble. Here's one of the ring wrestling. More about scripted drama or raw athleticism. Let the smackdown begin. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I just, I'm a big fan of WrestleMania. I haven't, I don't watch WE. I just, I watch the videos of people recapping Mondays and, and SmackDowns and shit. Uh, but I don't watch it. But I, I like watching WrestleManias. I watch AEW, that's what I watch. Uh, I just, I prefer good wrestling matches over storylines and scripted shit. I just, good wrestling matches and, and, and the real showmanship of athleticism is amazing. And in AEW, those motherfuckers are literally trying to kill each other. Let me see uh, what dangerous thing I can do to you and, 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 and come this close to killing you. That's what it is in AEW, it's fucking insane sometimes. Will Ospreay, a god. The wrestling god. Oh, man. That guy is, I think he is the best wrestler in the world. Uh, he just hasn't been given that title yet. It's coming. I'm telling you, it's coming. That motherfucker's amazing. Uh, but let me get into the comments, because apparently we had a lot of comments here at the at the very end of uh, Friday. Uh, appreciate you guys who comment, but let's start with the comments. And we're going to start with Rocco Fuck My Life, one of our old G fucking woke packers. Uh, here we go. Let me hit it for this asshole. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. Rocco. Alright, uh, Rocco, fuck my life, says. I've never been more glad I left my laptop recording your live show. Got to rewatch and see all the Godzilla spoiler scenes. Cheers, son, for being a pirate. Cheers. Hashtag. Woke ass fuck. Oh shit, wrong one. Sorry. Yeah, I'm all fucked up already. Woke Live. Um, yeah, um, it sucked because Saturday morning, 
you know, before I went to work or whatever, I was trying to upload the video and the video because it's three hours. It took forever to upload, to re-upload. And then it says that it's got a copyright strike for the Godzilla. I'm like, sons of bitches, I literally did the same thing for the Ghostbusters the week before and it didn't got fucking banned or copywritten, but the Godzilla did. Um, I guess I didn't expand it too much. I don't know. I just, I, I fucked up or somehow, but people who were there live got to see all the spoilers that I showed. I mean, I showed the scenes from the movie and shit. So you got to see that. Um, yeah, that's what we do in this. Any, any fucking Marvel movie or whatever, end of credit scene, I'll show you the shit on the live. And if we can get away with it, I'll re-upload it on Saturdays. But as long again, YouTube's getting better at, at catching me and shit. Uh, but I'm trying. I'm trying for you guys. For you. And was cheers, Rocco. Thank you for commenting. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's see who else is commenting. Oh, shit. Our resident Asian robo Igert. Let me hit it for this yellow motherfucker. And Robo says, Hey, son of man, I saw Godzilla X Kong with the family over the Easter weekend. Sucks YouTube block your video footage. It was entertaining. I agree with your statement of this is not a human story. Yeah, it's not. I think most of the critics are being too hard on this. It's not supposed to be an amazing dramatic movie, but I guess after seeing minus one, it's hard not to compare. Cheers to the woke pack. Hashtag. Live. See, one of these days I'm gonna have a white guy backstage and he's gonna know when I say hashtag, he's gonna press the button. I don't have to be fucking around here and I can just focus on my gang signs and shit. This is annoying as fuck. Anyways, cheers, Robo. Uh, yeah, when you see Godzilla minus one and then you see Godzilla cross Kong, you know, it's it's completely different movies. It's like Godzilla x Kong is. The only way to explain, because it's monsters, right? So it's everything's fantasy and fake. But the only way I can explain it is Godzilla versus Kong or X Kong. It's more of a fantasy movie, whereas Godzilla minus one is more grounded in reality, if that even makes sense, because it is a fucking monster movie after all. Uh, but I, I think it is, it is more grounded in reality and shit. Mm. Cheers, Robo. Thank you for commenting, yellow motherfuckers. I love you. Um, C Mike, uh, one, two, three, brand new guy on the did, did they make Morph gay video? He says, uh, Morph was always bi, at least. Uh, he didn't keep gender identity because he was literally gender fluid. Um, I don't know, man, because the white face, the no face, I know they, they, first of all, there was two characters that were made up when the X-Men uh, in the 90s, series 94, uh, started. And they were made up just for the series. And it was Jubilee and Morph. They did not exist prior to. There was a character that you could say was Morph in the comic books. And he had the no face like that. And then later on, once, the, in, I guess in the early 2000s, the comic books put Morph in in the x-men comic books and then they gave him the no face from the other character and i guess that's what they're doing nowadays uh but originally i mean the way they did it in the original series in the 94 he was supposed to be caucasian white guy looking like fucking one of my fucking white friends and shit uh on crack <laughs> but yeah um i don't know i don't have any problem with this uh new morph um, it's all right. Uh, I kind of like the no face, you know, and they really haven't, I don't know. I don't know how far they're going to get into this, this bisexual gay shit. Um, uh, if they're going to elaborate or more on as the coming episodes or what they're going to do, or is this as far as it's going to go? I don't know. I don't, I really don't know. So we'll see. Uh, we're going to review this week's episode and I'll let you know all about it. Because I was actually really excited about it last week. And then I saw it. God damn it. I'll talk about it later. Cheers, Mike. Thank you for commenting. Um, A new guy called Big Lock. 
2209. I'm the Connor McGregor's on drugs. He says, Connor, asterisk, meaning I misspelled it because I put C-O-N-N-E-R. And apparently you spell Connor C-O-N-O-R. Um, and plus, you know what? First of all, I'm American. And even worse, I'm Mexican. I'm American Mexican. I'm not a Mexican American because I wasn't born in Mexico. I'm American, but was raised by Mexicans, uh, unfortunately. I was born in America, raised by Mexicans. So I'm American Mexican. Uh, so I don't know how to spell these fucking uh, European uh, uh, Irish names and shit. I don't know. I, th I thought Connor had two ends. Uh, give me a second. Because. My allergies are bothering me. It's because of this goddamn fan that I have on. Let me take it off. I'm just gonna turn off the fan real quick. And shit. I'm gonna vacuum tomorrow. But all this, the, that fan's kicking up dust. It's making my eyes water and shit. I don't want it to smear my makeup. I work really hard on this. You know what I'm saying? Connor suffering from a high. Uh, tied, or is that the the writing Connor? Or is that the uh, tied writing Connor? I I mean I I've never he was fucked up in that video. He was one hundred percent fucked up. Um, I've never seen him like that. I don't know. I mean, you know, I I've seen him at crazy and shit, but I never seen him like that. So I know he's on. He was on something. All right, it was obvious. It was cheers, Big Glock. And I'm sorry I misspelled an Irish name. Or I don't know about the McLeods and then the fucking uh, uh, the McDonalds and then the Winstons or whatever the fuck they're called. All right, cheers, Big Glock. Oh, Anthony Timmons. This guy's cool. On the Danny Danny Masterson has started a, g a gang in jail. He says. This guy has always been a turd. He walks like a turd, he looks like a turd, and he acts like a turd, and probably smells like a turd. Let him rot. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, there's a lot of them, man. Like that other guy, Wilmore, Valmarevera, or whatever the fuck, the fucking Fez. I mean, he was dating Lindsay Lohan, and she was 16 at the time. The motherfucker was like 28 or something. Fucking... Fucking the shit out of Lindsay Lohan. And you wonder why she went on and did all those drugs and shit. She fucked up this little girl before she was even old enough to, to be mature. This fucking guy. And, uh, and not to mention Aston Kutcher. I mean, Mila Kunis was like 14 and they were all making out with her. I mean, this is so, it's a lot of fucked up shit. When you go back now and you think about it, all of this perversions that are now coming out and people being accused and things come it was there all along in front of our eyes all along for all of us to see it was there motherfuckers i'm just saying the truth um but anyways uh cheers anthony timmons thank you for commenting appreciate you motherfucker this guy's becoming a regular appreciate this guy cheers Uh, uh, Iron Mike 212. I wonder if this is Mike Tyson, guys. Holy shit. Mike Tyson wasn't watches my channel. Cheers, Mike. We love you. He says, Is that a filter? Um, I, I, I think he's asking about me. And shit. That's actually a good idea. We need to I need to make a, a Son of Man filter. And then like sell it on the on the on the fucking uh, uh, Apple store. And then anybody can look like me. It'll put on makeup on you like this. And shit. And, and a bandana and some fucking braids. That'll be fucking dope. I made some money on the side for the channel. Oh and by the way, everybody! We're try I'm trying to reach uh, monetization, monetization on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe to all your friends and shit. Because uh, if I start making some money, the goal is to make $1 a day off of these videos. And at the end of the year, hopefully, making $1 a day, 
I have enough money to buy a pound of weed and I'll show it off here. Look what I bought with the money on YouTube. Oh yeah, cheers! <laughs> it says we have enough videos and subscribers, but apparently we don't have enough view time. Nobody watches us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 566 subscribers and only like 40 of you motherfuckers are watching the videos. Fuck you! <laughs> Cheers! I love this channel. <laughs> uh, I'm like the Conan O'Brien of YouTube. Nobody fucking watches us and shit. I swear to God, we might as well be. I might as well be fucking doing this live at fucking uh, four in the morning and shit. <laughs> Cheers! Thank you, Iron Mike. Midnight's live. This guy on the Dennis Danny Masterson has started a gang in jail. So the man, I want to do an interview. Uh an interview with who? With Danny Masterson or with me? Cause if you did an interview with Danny Masterson, that'd be fucking sick. And you probably get a lot of views and shit. I went to your channel and I looked at it. That shit about <laughs> this guy's funny. He's just talking about like fucking uh, that he's telling people, uh, he's kind of like Alex Jones. He was telling people that they need to drink, uh, uh, butt ice because the butt ice has these chemicals. And when you drink it, if the chemicals react in your body and then you piss out all the liberal liberalism out of you. So it cleanses you. <laughs> it cleanses you. <laughs> Tears midnight life. Uh, contact me on my social media and let me know what you want to do. I'm open for collaborations, uh, uh, fashion shows, and shit like that. You know, no, nothing like Diddy. All right, we're not gonna do no debaucherous shit. Uh, we're gonna talk about Diddy tonight. You know how that is. Uh, but yeah, like, social media is where you need to get a hold of me. Twitter or Instagram. I already put it on the beginning and shit. If you want to talk about collaborate, cheers. Midnight's live. Y'all go check out his channel. This guy's kind of funny. Uh, Super Saiyan Joe Koo is on the Morphous Gay video. I don't mind Morph being by, but not Logan. On the low low, just no. But like Son of Man, and I always say, together we can lick anything. Meow. Cheers, mother flowers. Hashtag. Together we can lick the world. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's a, it's 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a it's a world. You know, you know. I know Diddy right now is being accused and all this shit's going on, but you know, I'm just gonna let you all know, you know, like 20 years from now, all that shit's gonna be normal. All right, people are gonna be having sex with all sorts of things, not just fucking people, dogs, cats, all these weird shit. It's gonna be a fucked up world, but by then, well, I'm gonna be dead, so I'm gonna be okay with it, you know? <laughs> uh, I don't know about the rest of y'all, but <laughs> anyways. Cheers, Joku! Thank you for commenting on this channel. <laughs> I'll be perfectly honest with you, Deep Post. I have never, never drank butt ice. Um, actually, uh, I'll tell you the, uh, the story with me on, uh, about, like, fucking what went down. Oh, and by the way, if you all know why I'm sometimes commenting late. Is there is a 12-second delay on the live feed because I don't have Google Fiber, Internet Fast, instant shit. All right, so I see your shit late. Um... My story with beer is I started out like most teenagers do, and I started off hard with the Budweiser, the red, the red can. But somewhere in the middle of my 20s, uh, because of all the drugs and all the staying up late, not, not eating right, I would get really bad heartburn and I couldn't drink the fucking uh, the red can anymore. So I switched over to the Dylan Malavani beer. The blue can. I had a couple of woke ass friends, you know, they're trying to be progressive, get with the times, and they started drinking that Bud Select. You know, the it looked like a looked like a shit can. It looked, it looked it was like gold or brown. I don't know. It looked like ass. 
Anyways, I drank one of those. I didn't like the taste. It tasted like it was expired or some shit. I don't want bad drug bug to lick. You know? Um, eventually, this really hot chick I was fucking, she would drink this ass. Uh, not a sponsor, but you can tell what it is. The 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 cowboy beer over here. You know what I'm saying? In Texas, Lone Star. The the the, 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 the cowboy beer. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm like, give me that shit. Let me see what it tastes like. And uh, and I liked it had more flavor than the Dylan Malavani beer. It 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 even made me feel because I always thought that natural natural I think it's called natural light or natural select something like that. It's, it's some kind of it's also from Amheuser, I think. But that one tastes like water. But when I tasted this one and compared it to the Dylan Malavani, I, used to, I, I thought right away, the Dylan Malavani is water? Because this has flavor? What the fuck? And so I've been, I've, been, I've been hooked on this since then, just because of the flavor. I've never drank Bud Eyes. Because uh, I, 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 I think that's new. I think it's fairly new. Maybe, maybe 10 years, maybe. I don't know. It's fairly new, but I, you know. I've never tried it. There's another one. They're like amber or some shit. I don't know. Like a bunch of fancy people drink all these kinds of. Amheuser is no longer American. I think it's like German owned now and shit. And so they're making all these kinds of different brands for it and shit. <laughs> yeah, it's mixing beer with Coke cooler, then lighting up. Um. Uh, I mean, I don't know about cooler. I mean, I'll just tell you like fucking. The only way, the only reason I ever knew why people did coke while drinking beer is because they wanted to, to sober up and keep drinking beer. You know, I never believed it, uh, but one time in my twenties, I was drunk as fuck, and somebody, you know, whatever the fuck, it was like, you know, it was the next day I was falling asleep and shit. Somebody brought something out, and I said, "Oh, sure, why not? Let me see what this is like. Let me see. Let me see what, it, what all the fuss is about." And, uh, and, and I fucking sobered up instantly. And I said, holy shit, I'm not piss ass drunk anymore. I can drink some more. Let's go to the store. We went to the store at 8 in the morning. And we bought another 24 pack. <laughs> we drank till 10 in the morning. <laughs> I mean, I was awake the whole fucking night. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's why people do it. I was never a big fan of it. Um, I always had, I don't know. I, just, I, I have allergies, all right? And that shit would Fuck me up at the next day, the next week, you know, after doing it. So I just didn't like it. And plus, I saw a video on YouTube and it showed the motherfuckers making it in the jungle and it was disgusting. Motherfuckers, you know, using gasoline and all these. It was just, it's nasty stuff, all right? It's natural, okay? They're just a, a fucking a dry leaf, all right? That's all it is. It's a dry leaf, all right? This is, they put it on here by God, all right? I don't know about it. I'll tell you, I think everything that everything that is not grown from the earth that you can just pick and, and put in your mouth and eat it or just uh, dry it and smoke it, anything that is not that, that's a drug. This is a drug because it has to be processed and all that shit. You know, the white stuff's a drug because even though it's a plant, you can chew on it. No, to make it into that, you got to do a bunch of shit. Everything's a drug. The only thing that's not a drug is the marijuana and the shrooms, my friend. And the licking of the toads and all that shit. That's all natural. That's all God put all that shit. God put the, the, the frogs so you can lick them. You know, that's what God put them there for, motherfuckers. Everything else in the man, the devil made it. It's evil. Cheers to the devil. Every time you drink alcohol, it's, a, it's the, devil's pee, the devil's piss. And the different, the different taste of beers and, and, and liquors. It's because of the diet the devil had that day. So it tastes different. But I'm telling you, this came out of the devil's fucking penis. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Joku also said on the Dragon Ball theme park, the idea is dope. But uh, like you pointed out, that there's a history of shit that... Oh, hang on. Let me open this right away because I know it's going to fuck up. There we go. History of getting shit done, but in reality, I can't even afford to buy tickets plus the theme park itself. So fuck that shit. And announcements go on after Akira Toriyama passes away. Come ball shit. Rest R.I.P. Akira Toriyama. Cheers, mother flowers. 
It's not gonna happen. It never is gonna happen. Saudi Arabia is never gonna build this theme park. They announce it. They trying to get some money and build some hypes and get some clicks on YouTube. Let me get some clicks on YouTube. Get some money coming in from the YouTube money. That's all you're gonna get. Cause those motherfuckers will never build this shit. They never. They start something and they never finish it. They leave it half done. Motherfucker, I ain't even gonna lie. When I went to Egypt, I couldn't believe. I saw entire cities abandoned. And I thought they were abandoned cities. But when we, dry, when we drove by through them, I thought maybe war happened. And oh shit, there was a war. There was a fucking battle here. No, motherfucker. They were building a city and then they quit or they ran out of money. It looks like they ran out of money and they left or some ass. You know? And I asked the tour guys what's going on. Ah, oh, they just, you know, they did uh, abandoned projects they were going to build here. And then and they realized nobody wants to live in the fucking desert where there's nothing. It rains once a year over there. Fuck you. You think it's because you build a shiny building, you're going to bring the rest of the world to you? Fuck you. I grew up in 100 degree, 120 degree weather in the summer. And I got the fuck out of there the first chance I got. You think I want to go there for vacation? Fuck you. Idiots. Cheers, Joku. Nobody's going to go to Saudi Arabia for a fucking Dragon Ball theme park. They should have built that shit in Los Angeles or their Universal Studios. You idiots. God damn it. Oh, <laughs> it's none other than no ma'am. This fucking misogynist rapist. Let me hit her for this asshole. No ma'am. National Organization of Men Against Amazonian Masterhood. Uh, no ma'am says on the Danny Masterson started a gang in jail with his Scientologist brainwashing techniques and his years of experience as an actor. It did not take him long to take over the joint. He'll have this new Cholo gang selling online insurance scams from the inside in no time. Cheers to the man. Hashtag. I'll tell you what, man. This motherfucker is actually, uh, he's, he's legit, man. I'll tell you like that because, and not like, not, not, he's a rapist. He belongs in jail and all that shit. But I'm telling you. This guy is legit as far as his training in Scientologists, probably Scientology has probably has given him an advantage because this motherfucker, uh, he can manipulate people and shit, you know, because he's already taught the techniques, you know, and plus like, just like exactly how this guy says, he's, he's been pretending his whole life, his ass career is to pretend to be someone else, you know, 30 years in the joint, man, for drugging and raping women. Fucking crazy asshole. But I guess in Hollywood, everyone's been doing that. Has been doing that. And everyone who has been doing that, you're going to get caught. It's coming to light. I'm telling you. I'm going to quote Melanie Mack here in the Bible. Because she says, everything that's been a secret will come to light. All right, everything, everything that's been hidden will become to light. Your dirty secrets, your dirty laundry, it's coming out. Everyone will know. Sons of bitches. It's happening. Cheers, no ma'am, you rapist. Oh, uh, this. That's two down already, motherfuckers. Let me get another beer right here. I got my ass chest. Oh, yeah, nice and cold on these motherfuckers. Cheers. Happy Friday. <sighs> J Hart W. On the Dragon Ball theme park. The Son of Man is a realist. I just say the truth. How, how do you expect a country that abandons every fucking project they're building to build a theme park? Better yet to attract people from all over the world. Fuck you. Cheers, J Hart W. Oh yeah, Gomer Kyle on the Son of Man Read Your Comments video. He says, hey, 
I get 20 gummies at 150 milligrams per gummy? God damn it, I'm so fucking jealous of you motherfuckers that live up north. I don't understand. You know, life is hard down here in the south. We deserve to fucking have legalized marijuana. What the fuck is going on? God damn it. We got the biggest state. I mean, you can drive for fucking two days across our state. You know, it takes forever. And over there, like, we, we should, we deserve, we deserve to fucking have legalized. What the hell's going on in my state? Uh, Gomer Contagion says, only fans for the win. Cheers. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag. Live. I don't know how to do it. Hashtag let's go Cody fucking Rhodes. Uh, cheers, Gomer. He's gonna lose. <laughs> He's gonna lose. Bloodline all the way, motherfucker, the final boss. I'm telling you, everybody's gonna freak out because night one, they're gonna lose the match, and then night two, it's gonna be fucking Seth Rollins' band, uh, Solo Sikoa, a guest referee, The Rock, Special Enforcer, <laughs> Jimmy Uso, Timekeeper. It's gonna be crazy like that, bro. It's like, it's gonna be crazy, bro. And people are gonna be pissed about it, but I'm telling you, that's how you book wrestling, because you piss people off. And then you make them happy, 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 happy. And then you fucking piss them off. That's how you do it, motherfuckers. I'm telling you, you want to be a real heel. The Rock be a real heel. They keep them. They keep the fucking bloodline going. And they add more members. That's what they need to do. Then you get Tomatonga and then other fucking Uso in there and shit. Have Rakishi come back and come out there and shit. Be, be just there standing. He doesn't need to do shit. Be badass, bro. Uh, J Hart W on the Puff Daddy. Where did it all go wrong? He also says, uh, did he do it? Question mark. Looks like yes. Did he did it? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Austin coming out would be a fucking bad. I, Gomer, that's fucking good. Gomer, you're a good booker. I definitely, Gomer. If I start a wrestling promotion, you're coming in too. That's a good booking right there. Austin comes out and uh, just like Foley, <laughs> get ready to power up, thrilling bat bats, adrenaline pumping all night long. <laughs> Cheers, y'all. Again, I appreciate you guys for being here and also fucking uh, uh, keeping the chat live, chat alive. Uh, I, I try to watch you guys. Sometimes I've already moved on from a subject, and so you know what I'm saying, because uh, there is a delay. One of these days, we're going to be rich and fucking, you know, a lot of money. We don't have to have fame. We can only have 500 subscribers. That's fine, but we'll have a lot of money. When we have a lot of money, I'll pay for a white guy, and we'll fucking... You know, we'll have Google, Google, no, fuck Google, I'm gonna pay Elon Musk, give me one of those satellites, one of those X, uh, Starlinks, and we'll fucking Starlink this bitch instantly live, everywhere all over the world, everyone will see this, no, no one will see it, no one gives a fuck about it, but either way, we'll have all the technology and shit, I'll even have Lil Wayne as a fucking musical guest, it'll be legit, nobody will watch it, but it'll still be legit for you motherfuckers, cheers. Uh, cheers, uh, thank you for commenting, J Hart W. Bruce Hobbs 462 on the Danny Masterson started a gang. What a lot of false shit. His fucking head is too big, big talk truth. You wanna be. Uh, are you telling me or fucking Danny Masterson? <laughs> or Danny Masterson? <laughs> I mean, it sounds like you're telling Daddy Masterson, uh, but uh, I don't know if you're telling me. <laughs> uh, cheers, Bruce Hobbs. Uh, be more specific, you dumbass. How the fuck am I supposed to know what you're talking about? <laughs> cheers, thank you for commenting. Oh, uh, and next up is Depost. Our resident 
uh, fucking, uh, n I was gonna say Neanderthal. <laughs> nah, our resident Netherlander. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, he comments on the Conor McGregor's on drugs and he says, Looks like something, something, something yourself as well. Peace, man. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it looks like you're something, something yourself as well. Oh, okay. Then I was on drugs. And That's what this channel is. We're on drugs here. We're drinking, fucking smoking. Well, we're, we're not doing anything illegal. This is the tobacco leaf rolled up in a fucking cigarette shit. And this is, uh, I poured Kool-Aid into this can. This, uh, uh, this, this, uh, what are they called? One of those cans they sell to look cool and shit. Cheers, YouTube. We're keeping it safe. Try not to get banned. Oh, a broad audience, all right? All right. It is still 18 and up because we do curse here, but still. Cheers. We push the envelope as much as we can. All right, let's keep going. D Post also says, on the, I was reading comments. Oh, yeah, yeah, because there's a motherfucker, uh, Winston, I think Wins Winslow or some shit like that. That motherfucker, he said, um, uh, <laughs> I forget what he said, but I don't know. He's just making fun of the reply I said. What do you want, motherfucker? <laughs> goat. Oh, shit. He said I was the goat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers, fucking deep pose. The Neanderthals, the Netherlands. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cheers, motherfucker. Fuck, man. The Netherlands must be fucking cold over there all the time. I would hate it. <laughs> nah, I'm a, I'm a fucking lizard. I ain't gonna lie. I grew up in 120 degree weather in the fucking summer. I remember. Because the weather's changing everywhere on Earth. So it's, 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 it's cooler down there nowadays. But I remember this one fucking year. I was in high school. And uh, back then, we actually went to school up to the the 22nd of December. Yeah, these kids get like three weeks off. They get holidays for everything. I see kids. The schools are closed all the time. Nobody goes to school anymore. Fucking bullshit. But anyways, we went to school until the 22nd of December. We were not off until the... No, actually, I, mean, I think maybe even the 23rd was half a day. I don't remember. But I remember it was two days before fucking Christmas. And I was at school wearing shorts. And sweating because it was hot. <laughs> That's where I grew up, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, yeah, I wonder what it is in the Netherlands. It must be fucking winter all year long, I bet. Oh, yeah. Kanye exposes his wife again. Depot says... G only got good things coming. Oh, yeah. We love the Yeze in this fucking channel is all I'm going to say. We're going to talk a little bit about the Yeze. He uh, he finally showed his face. You know, he took off his... his <laughs> he finally showed his face this week. So we got to talk about him. Talk about it later. Uh, David McCoy, 1978. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good year. That's a good year. Oh, uh, and the Danny Masterson has started a gang in jail. He says, I'm a new subscriber, but let it be known that I have a hard time taking the word of a man with drag queen makeup on. Well, you know, I mean, yeah, I'm not going to lie. You are from 1978 and that kind of stuff, you know, unless you... Boy, George was the only motherfucker doing this kind of thing. I mean, even like Alice Cooper wasn't even pushing the boundaries as much as he should have. That pussy. Uh, so I totally understand. But you gotta understand, nowadays, this is normal. If you don't look like this, you're the fucking weird one. Ah, cheers, David McCoy. Thank you for subscribing, motherfucker. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I spotted a mountain yeti chilling in the Dutch dust mist today. What the fuck are you smoking? <laughs> Depose, that's badass. 
You should take a picture. We have cell phones. But by the way, anything you send me on social medias, picture of your cat or whatever, you hanging out with your friends, whatever you send me, I won't post it here. I usually do. Uh, but just try to give me some... Like I told Super Saiyan Joker earlier, because <laughs> I thought he was sending me, I started getting notifications. The show was like 10 minutes away. I'm like, I don't have time to fucking... Because I got to go and edit stuff and put it on the program and all that ass. So, you know, don't send it to me fucking 15 minutes before the show because I ain't going to have time to put it. <laughs> but whatever you send me on my social medias, even if it's you and your wife or everybody just chilling your dog, a fucking piece of shit you saw on the floor, whatever, I'll post it here. I don't care. We don't have any subscribers. <laughs> Nobody watches us. Cheers, y'all. Uh, cheers. Deep pose. On, the, on, 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 well, it was actually the first underground broadcast that I did. Because this used to be another channel. It used to be called something else before that son of a, he who should not be named, abandoned all of us. Anyways, deep post on the first underground broadcast says, hey, dude, when is your live show? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, now you know. 7.30 Central American time. I don't know what that is. That's probably like 6 a.m. Fucking Netherlands time or some ass. Something like that. <laughs> On a sad the next day and shit. Uh, you know what's crazy? Is we get... I get more people from out of the country. Like, we got another motherfucker. He hasn't been on. No, he's working. He's working hard. He's, he, like, this motherfucker's a hard working. He makes the money. Indie Phantom. The Canadians out there, too. We got an Australian. We got some uh, two or three motherfuckers. Uh, I know one of them. A uh, uh, shout out to Brad Bradley o. Lewis, our Awoke Pack fucking member out there, motherfucker in Australia also. I know he's just has a kid and a wife. He's busy and shit, but I know what's up. We got other motherfuckers in America, too, over there in the Maryland chapter of the Woke Pack. Uh, Dr. DJ, uh, DJ, uh, I forget what his name was, DJ something, uh, fucking, uh, fuck yeah, I, <laughs> you haven't been here in a while, motherfucker. Uh, uh, Dr. Dre talks shit, or DJ talks shit, something like that. <laughs> uh, Eddie Molina Vilches, all these motherfuckers been on here for a long time, all over the world, watching this, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate you guys. You know, that's all I'm going to say. It's just a weird channel. It's a weird channel. I never expected it uh, to, n to not get popular. Uh, because it isn't. The chairs! <laughs> Alright, it's 317 midnight over there. Holy shit, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> well, if you fall asleep, because this goes on for like three hours... <laughs> You can always watch the re-upload tomorrow. You know how it works. Uh, also, deep posts on the colored racist are a thing now. He says, well said. Because I call this little girl a piece of shit. You know, if you can't get a... If you can't be in the same room with someone who looks different, whether it be their skin color, the shit they're wearing, or, or, or you know, their the, 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 the color of their fucking uh, nails. God damn it. If you their long hair, whatever. If they just look different to you, and you cannot be next to a person that looks different than you, then just fucking stay at home. Fucking stay at home, you piece of shit. Alright, that's all I'm gonna say. The plain and simple. You don't have to call nobody racist or nothing, whatever the fuck. If you can't be next to someone who looks different than you, regardless, whatever it is, skin color, clothes, whatever the fuck, if they're different than you, and you can't be next to someone who's different than you, stay at home, you piece of shit. That's all I'm going to say. Cheers, Deep Post. You'll make a world a better place. You'll make the world a better place if you just stay at home. Deep Post also says on Danny Masterson, when, uh, in the gang in jail, I thought drugging women was a good thing, this fucking guy. <laughs> all right, all right, we're going to try to get banned here. You better take these in the comments, motherfucker. We're going to get banned. <laughs> Uh, all right, all right, let me make sure this is guy. This was the last comment. Let me refresh it, uh, real quick. Oh shit, no, it wasn't the last comment. Uh, there's, uh, but anyways, Deep Post had another comment, and he says also on the Danny Masterson, and he says he's just doing exorcism for the church. This this man can not earn a medal. He's gonna have a lot of converts, bro. And a lot of those guys, when they get out of jail, because this guy's got 30 years, 
when those guys get out of jail, they're going to be converts and they're going to go straight to the church. Yeah, that's crazy. It's almost like if the church is telling him, hey, now that you're in there, we need you to work for us. <laughs> it's a gang, bro. It, it was Scientology's a cult gang. And now he's in there and now he's going to spread it in there. That's how it's working, bro. You really think he's still a Scientologist, motherfucker? Even if he is in jail and they're still taking care of him. His commissary? His commissary is probably like 30 grand a week. <laughs> this motherfucker is living like a king in there with that from the church and said they're taking care of him. As long as he doesn't come out and expose them, they're going to take care of him. Fuck, man. That's crazy the way the world works. Cheers, Depos. Uh, anyways. Hey, serious question. Why are only black people allowed to use the N-word? And uh, no one should, uh, Gomer said. I agree. Uh, I'm reading the comments. But I agree with you guys because... Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I don't understand why even black people say the N-word. Because to me, that is literally the equivalent of someone like myself, call, like me calling another friend that I grew up with. What a wet back. He would tell me, nothing black, my, my wet back. How you doing, wet back? I mean, that shit will piss me off. And I get it. They're not, they're saying it different. But that still doesn't, doesn't make any sense. It's, it's just like, it's, it doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, why they use it. I, and I'm with Gomer, and I don't think no one should use it, period. It should be offensive to everyone. Uh, and just like wetback is offensive to me, I don't want to be called that. So why would I? Why would someone black want to be called that? I just, I don't understand it. I get it. They use it in rap, and you, nobody in the Mexican culture uses that wetback in the music industry and shit, or even beaner or nothing like that. So it doesn't make any sense to me. Spick, what up, what up Spick? We don't, we don't. It just doesn't. It doesn't make sense to me. I think that's another shit the white man made up to keep the Browns down. And the Browns somehow thought it was them that made it up, but it wasn't. I bet you it was a white man that made it up. Let's have them call each other the word that we're calling them. That's what happened. It's a trick. That's all it's, all it's ever been. It's a fucking uh, 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 a way to trick fucking people in any way. Shit. Anyways. Uh, let me like this li like and heart this last comment, and it's somebody called Ashley Grima eighty two eighteen. Oh, that might be. Well, I don't know. They might they might be a female, or they might identify as a woman. They might be a man. I don't know who they are. But non binaries, whatever the fuck. Either way, thank you for commenting, Ashley Gr Grima, and on the Conor McGregor's on drugs, and they say uh, they say. Colombia's finest or on the pipe. I thought so too. I that's what I said. I mean nobody twitches like that and the tongue gave it away because he was like You know like the only time I really felt like what he was experiencing me When I know for a fact that I was acting like that I was an MDMA, but it was an MD because you know when you take a fucking ecstasy pill on Molly There's other stuff in it it's not just an MDMA, you idiot. Uh, the drug dealers, they fucking put coke or speed or acid or heroin. And then they, along with the MDMA, and then they crush it and, 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 and compress it into a pill. But there's other stuff in it. It's not just the MDMA. Because I've, I've dabbled in a variety of assortments. And I know they all made me feel different. And I'm a little smarter than the average fucking human being. So I could tell I'm like, this one has this. This one has this. This one has this. So I would be like, okay. Don't buy the blue dolphins. Don't buy the pumas. Uh, stick with the, the little green G units is what they were calling those. Those were, I think those were the pure MDMAs where I was at. I'm like, because that one just made me feel happy and fucking mellow and shit. Whereas everything else, I was either like melting on the couch like I was on heroin. Or I was lit up and shit. Or I was hallucinating. So, I mean, that's what I'm telling you. That's the other shit. That's a, you gotta stop doing drugs at one point because you realize people are just out there to fuck you up, bro. Uh, plain and simple. 
And so when I saw this video, I knew this motherfucker was either on crack, speed, or coke. The way he was acting. It was an upper, for sure. Uh, did your spirit dance in your vision while you journeyed on the MDMA Express? No, um, but I understood a lot of my own personal issues and problems at the time when I did it. I will tell you, you know, MDMA does, it, it, it helps you realize, you know, self-realization and shit like that. Uh, but I will tell you one thing that the MDMA did, bro. Um, so this was, I must've been 21 and I worked at some bar and shit. And, uh, there was a friend of ours because it was one of those things that we would hear about, but we lived in a town that was still kind of not a huge city it was still kind of growing. It was a small city, but it was growing into a bigger city. So we were not, you know, we, there was no mushrooms and shit like that. Like it started coming in late into our shit, but we heard about it and shit. And I had already gone to Austin and shit and did a lot of stuff and had come back. But this is awesome. But there was nothing like that where we were at. Um, so my friend would go out of town and come back with a bag full of we, they Back then they called them exos. Then, then they changed the name to Molly's. No, no, exos or rolls. Rolls was the word that people would say a lot. You want to roll? You want to roll? And then exos became a thing. And then it was Molly. Uh, but that's what they were calling it. But he would come back with a huge fucking bag full of hundreds of little fucking shits. And he would sell to everybody at the, the bar. And everybody, because it was a brand new thing, everybody heard it, everybody would buy it and shit. But anyways, long story short, after a long night of partying, I went home to the apartment where everybody hung out and lived, but everybody was still at the party. And so I went and I knew nobody was going to be there. And I was like, I could catch a few fucking Z's before anybody shows up and shit. You know, I'll catch a few Z's and shit. Uh, and so I went and, uh, nobody was there. The door is always open because nobody, nobody has a key. The doors never, no, don't lock the door. It's what the rule is. So I went in there and I sat down on the couch and I was about to just pull back and probably catch two, three hours of sleep before people came back from the party. And then there was another party in the apartment. But then from the hallway of the apartment, I'm going to lie to you. This is what I fucking swear to God I saw. I saw the figure of a man walking from the hallway of the apartment into the living room. And it was just the literal outline of the figure of the man. And it looked like the predator. Where if he stood still, you would just kind of fade in. But since he was moving, I could see the outline of him and he was walking casually like if nothing you know from the fucking hallway into the living room and he was what it looked like heading out the door and I was sitting there on a couch and I go what I stood up and I said what the fuck and the motherfucker just stopped like this I'm not playing. And when he did that, I freaked out and I sat back down. And he was just like that. And the outline was kind of fading into the background, but I could tell he was still there. And I freaked out. And I grabbed this, the fucking, the, the covers that I was going to use to just kind of sleep over with this stupid little cover. And I put it over my head. And I was all like, I'm on drugs, this is real. go away, go away, go away, go away. And I was just like that, talking to myself. And then eventually I took it off my head, and he was gone. I freaked the fuck out. Five years later on the internet, I start seeing this shit about how the military has cloaking technology. And they use it over there in Japan, too. And it's like a cloak. It's like a Harry Potter cloak that mirrors what's behind the person. And, you, and it looks just like that. 
And five years later, because I thought I'd just hallucinate it because of the MDMA and the they might have put in the fucking pill. But five years later, I'm thinking the fucking DEA was using this technology and probably looking because my friend went and bought hundreds of fucking pills and they thought he was a big time drug dealer or something and they came into the apartment looking for shit. And this secret agent in this fucking predator technology was snooping around the apartment when nobody was home and was casually walking out when I was there and he freaked out when I fucking saw him. That's a real story that no one believes. But I know, years later, that's the most rational fucking answer then. Oh, it was, I was high and I imagined this. No, it happened. And that's what it fucking was, bro. The government has technology. They've had technology like this and they do secret operations like this on people and shit. And that's what they were looking for. They were looking for a big time drug dealer and they just found out. They're just a bunch of bartenders that went out of town. And fucking bought a bunch of ecstasy pills to sell to their friends. Because that's all it really was. But that's 100%. I am still convinced to this day. That is what I witnessed. And that is what I experienced that fucking uh, morning. Because it was already the morning when I got to that apartment. Um, That's fucked up. But I'm telling you. That's, uh, that's my crazy experience. The craziest experience on drugs that I ever had. That I know was a real experience. Because I was probably. I was already coming off it bro. I was already coming off it. So I know I wasn't hallucinating. And the fact that when I stood up and said. What the fuck. That the motherfucker just stood. Still. <laughs> fuck you. That just gave to me years later. That was the 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 definite proof to me in my head that it was real. Uh, but <laughs> anyways, <laughs> cheers, Ashley Grima, <laughs> for commenting. I went on a trip there and gave you some fucking X file shit, motherfuckers. Cheers. I appreciate each and every one of you for commenting. You make the show. We'd have a really short show if there was in the comments. Uh, coming up next, I am going to have the weekly pop culture breakdown, celebrity ass, followed by all the comic book nerd shit. You know how we do. Uh, here are my social medias. Son of Man at 665 for Twitter, at the Underground Broadcast for the TikTok and the Instagram. Whatever you send me, I'll show before we start the comments and shit. Thank you guys so much for commenting. Cheers. Hey, if you like this kind of content, how about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link on the right or check the description.